ओके सो लास्ट क्लास नमल डिस्कस इधर इट वाज अबाउट द लिस्ट इन पाइथन सो लिस्ट इस डेटा टाइप वी कैन कीप डेटा टाइप्स ऑफ एनी नंबर ओके डिफरेंट साइज़ेस इन ए वेरिएबल दैट इज़ व्हाट ए लिस्ट इज Okay, and we have seen different operations with the list. Last we were discussing about the insert. So that insert operation was using to add a particular element to a list with a particular index number. To add a element, to add an element to a list to a particular index. Okay, and the syntax was name of the list dot insert. In bracket, index number, comma, element. What is the index? Name of the list. Dot insert bracket, index position, comma, element. Okay, that is why this statement. This list dot insert. Okay, this list or whatever you are list name. For example, fruits or my list, whatever it is. Okay, so to that list should be an existing list in the environment, and dot insert two comma watermelon. It was adding. It was adding element watermelon to the index position cherry to the index position two. Okay, so index position was zero one two for the existing. After executing this, okay, it will add. watermelon so cherry will be replaced to index position 3 and the position of cherry will occupy watermelon okay this was the syntax and the operation of insert function to a with a list okay now to add an element to an existing list we have one more function that is called append okay for appending we don't want to pass the index number so where will be it added ad add in the bottom आ लिस्टि लास्ट पोसीशन आडे इंडेक्स सोरी इंडेक्स एन मैन वण पोसीशन अलग एन आडे सीरों टू एन मैन वण आस्टिंग लिस्ट सो दट लिस्ट डॉट अपलमेंट विल आड एलमेंट टू इंडेक्स नंबर एन आ सईस ऑफ द इंडेक्स और लेंत ऑफ द इंडेक्स विल चेज टू एन प्लस वण फॉर एक्सापि फोर दी लिस्ट फोर दी लिस्ट index size is 3 okay and the last element position is at n minus 1 which is at 2 so this list dot append will add element position element to position n and the size become n plus 1 so after executing this size of the or length of the index will be 3 okay and uh, sorry uh, it will be 4 because it was 3 and after adding append size will be increased to 4 and the range will be 0 1 2 3 where the last element will be added to 3 so that is the difference between anyway append and uh, insert for append we don't want to pass the index it will be added by default to the last position okay now uh, how to remove how to remove an element from the list how to remove an element from the list okay so operation is delete d e l d e l okay space name of the list in bracket index position okay this is the way of removing a particular element from the list okay with a specified index number for example you have an array you have a list with elements apple banana and cherry okay so this list is defined here apple banana and cherry and we are executing this command del this list in bracket zero so what is this zero zero means index position zero so while executing this operation what will happen this apple will be deleted forever okay and banana will occupy the space of uh, apple and the cherry will occupy the space of banana that means after executing index will be zero position will be banana and one position will be cherry and the size will be reduced to n minus 1 so 
size will be reduced or length of the list will be reduced to n minus 1 and the index will change to 0 to n minus 2. It was 0 to n minus 1. After a delete operation, the index will reduce by 1. Okay, so it becomes 0 to n minus 2. Okay, so every positions will be shifted from the past. For example, if you are passing uh, this list of 1, what will happen? Apple, Angananikim, Banana, Maritangoteke, Cherry Bird. Understood. So at the position 0, it will be still Apple, and at the position 1, it will be Cherry. After delete this list of 1. Okay, this is the way how we can remove a particular element from a list. So after executing this, this is the result. After 0, the position is Apple, remove it, Baki. So whenever you see some uh, Python result in this square bracket, you should have to understand that the result is a list. Whenever you see a result of your program in this square bracket, it can be number or a string, whatever it is. If it is within the square bracket, you must understand it is list and the individual elements of the list can be accessed by passing the list name dot index position and to that list we can do all these appending inserting deleting and adding adding elements etc okay so this is what <coughs> now now another operation with the list suppose you have a list of number so uh, so far we discussed elements where string Okay, that's why each element we kept in the uh, inverted box, single or a double. Now, here we have a list with the number 1, 3 and 5. We have a list with the number 1, 3 and 5. Okay, so after executing this first step or first line of execute code, this code will be having the elements 1, 3, 5. Then, I am giving the instruction code plus equal to in list in list 975 975 so what will happen here what will happen what is this meaning of this statement is odd equal to odd plus the data odd plus equal to not only for the python for all languages if you see i plus equals 1 or any variable plus equal 1 or a number or something that meaning is i is equal to i plus 1 okay so that is a, a common approach to all programming languages so odd plus equal to this list meaning odd in the parayana variable adinda kude parayana list kude add edittu a pudhiya result odd like assign cheyum Understood. So while executing this ODE plus equal to 975, ODE will be existing 135, then comma 9, comma 7, comma 5. Okay. So while executing this result, we are getting this new updated list ODE with the elements 135975. Okay. So this way we can add elements to an existing add, add list to existing list. How to add a list of element to an existing list. Okay. Suppose the same way you can do. Suppose this is, for example, old. Okay. Underscore 1 is 135. Then old underscore 2 is 975. Then old equal to old 1 plus old 2 will give. Old 2 will give. What same result? Odd equal to odd one plus odd two will give you the same results because here odd one is a list, odd two is a list. So while executing odd equal to odd one plus odd two will give you the same result. You can test this on your mobile. Okay, so you can add list has how we are adding a number. Okay, so it will seem like a concatenation. Hmm? Now, if you want to add a similar element, same element multiple times to a list, we want to add a same element to multiple uh, times to a list. Okay, so that operation is very simple.
ഇപ്പോഴാ തുടങ്ങിയുള്ളൂപ്പൻ <laughs> name one name two name one name two how many times this will repeat five number of times so while executing print re into 3 will result into a new list with elements re re and re okay so this is also a, a, a appending a list method of appending a list the same elements to a list understood now how to get the number of elements in a list how to get the number of elements in the list that is what a length of a list that is what length of a to determine how many items a list has there is a built in function python it's len bracket so len simply length okay so this list is equal to we have our list apple banana and cherry we have three elements in the list we have three elements in the list then print len list while executing this it will print it will print because there are three elements in the list there are three elements in the list okay it will print the last index plus 1 as the result so len len uh, list name of a list will print n minus 1 plus 1 last index plus 1 as the result okay so that is what the, uh, the operations with the list in python and remember this topic is in third module okay now i am coming to the first module this is what mentioned in the syllabus math math modules different operations with the math module in python okay <laughs> okay so as we uh, used a uh, math module yesterday what was that module what was that module yesterday we used c math for what this module used yesterday for what we used this module yesterday for performing some complex operations complex algebra okay so i need to do c math we used actually idu adine munbe edukkana topic ayirunnu njan or order vechi poyene ullu anyway it is a module in python and we can use the uh, different operations in this module by calling that module into our program we can import all the functions we can import all the functions from that by calling this import math to our program okay and then you can use this or use all the functions in the math by using math dot function name or operation name math dot function name or operation name so the first we need to know about basic mathematical functions basic mathematical functions okay so first uh, function is absolute value function okay absolute value function okay so this operation is operation is math dot f abs of x math dot f abf abs of x what this return or what the result we will get while executing this f facts of x is returns the absolute value means it ignore the sign we will get the modulus okay if a positive number a number as it is the absolute value if a negative number we will get a positive number. you know what is that magnitude concept in maths okay so we will get the positive minus of x in the real uh, absolute value is minus x positive of x in the absolute value plus x okay minus of minus x becomes some positive all means after executing this modulus we will get the positive result okay so how to get the uh, uh, absolute value function is math dot fabs of x 
Okay, so it's just like equating x equal to x into minus 1. Same result you can get. Okay, so with the function, you can call these functions in Python for getting the absolute value. So how the result is, we imported the math module to our program, then print math.fabs of minus y. See the number here is minus 5. While executing this, we are getting Okay, so that is absolute value, negative value. So, we will program the result of the result and the absolute value. We will see these function of the function. Okay, so we will see this type of syntax in Python codes. A number of times. Okay, when we program the result, we don't want to bother about what the size is. We will see absolute value and absolute value. For example, in machine learning and all, we need this type of operations different cases okay. then the second uh, function or operation from the math module okay how to get an exponential or exponentiation and logarithmic function exponentiation and uh, last bench come yeah ningle the or Last thing, the 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 last So we can use uh, exponentiation and uh, take the risk. Exponentiation and uh, uh, logarithmic functions with the math module. Oh, how to use these operations? How to use those operations in the Python code? It is just by math dot exponentiation. Math dot exponentiation. So it is returning the result of e to the power x. For example, you want to perform e squared or eq or e 3.1 okay you want to get the result of e raised to 3.1 so how can you get it math dot exp 3.1 will return e raised to 3.1 how math dot exponential 3.1 will return e to the power okay so example math dot exponential 1 is 2.7182.82 up to 10 or 9 decimal places you will get the result. So it is nothing but e to the power. So either e value. What is e? Exponentiation la e logarithmic scale. Natural logarithm in the base on e and the variety. Hope you know all this. Then logarithm. How to get the log of a number in uh, Python? So math dot log of x. Getting the um, logarithm, we can use math dot log of x. For example, returns the natural logarithm of uh, uh, e. Natural logarithm to be the base e. Log base. Okay. So log math dot log ten will return two point three zero two five. Or we can say e raised to 2.3052 will be exactly 10. Anyway, just for uh, recollecting those. Okay, so e raised to 2.3052 e raised to 2 in the 10. That is 10. Log of 10 in the 2.3025. Anyway, you can call a natural logarithm of a number to a Python code by using math.log using math dot log. So if there is no base mentioned, okay, default base is default base is a natural log. In your calculator it is ln. Calculate it is ln. If you want to take the uh, log of with some another base, for example, sometimes in uh, programming you may need to get the logarithm with the base 2 or to the base 10. Okay, you can use this math.log 
comma with the base you can. If there is no base supplied within your log operator, your base by default will be E. Okay, for example, I want to take natural, sorry, logarithm of 8 to the base 2. Logarithm of 8 to the base 2. So that we know 2 raised to 3 is 8. So log to the base 2 of 8 is 3. Okay, how we can achieve this in Python? So math dot log 8 comma 2. Okay, if you are executing this without E, without the 2, math dot log 8, what would be the result? What would be the result? It will be something other than 3. Okay, E raised to X equal to 8. Ah, X I will the result of the Okay, so here we can. Okay, so if you want to take Law, normal logarithm of a number, what will you do? What is normal logarithm? Ah, normal logarithm is base 10. Normal logarithm is base 10. How can you do it in Python? Instead of 2, you can pass 10. Okay, so for example, math dot log 100 comma 10 what will be the result it will be 2 why because 10 raised to 2 is 100 so you can call any logarithm any base logarithm from your python by using this math log okay then there is another option also for calling the natural normal logarithm you can use log 10 function Either you can use log of 100 comma 10 or you can use log 10 100. Both will give you the result as 2. Both will give you the result as 2. Okay. So log 10 100 return the log value of 100 to the base 10. Or 100 comma 10 both are getting the both way. We are getting the same result. Okay, so math. Then to the base 2, log 2 of x. Okay. And if you want uh, log e, what will you do? Natural logarithm. Just log of number will give you. Log of number will give you. Natural logarithm. Log 10 of number will give you. Normal or to the base 10. Log 2 of number. Log 2 of number will give you log with the base 2. Okay, so no need to put comma and then pass base number other in the English. We need to make a base function of the chair to which it is a call and put. Okay, so log natural logarithm, log 10, normal logarithm, log to the base 2 or log 2, log with the base 2. Okay, so these are the functions for logarithm, logarithmic functions in Python or in maths module. Now, exponentiation for new power power and square root power and square root how to get the power a number is to another number okay or a square root of a number a cube root of a number okay so the mathematical uh, uh, or math modules function is power p o w p o w okay name in the name already clear it calculates x raised to y. First number will be that base number. Second number will be power. For example, if I want to calculate 7 raised to 21. 7 raised to 21. How can you do? It is equivalent to or how can you do? A normal operation means it is 7 into 7 into 7, 21 times. So it is not that easy to type 21 times 7 with the dot operator. So we can call this into math dot pow 7 comma math dot pow 7 comma 21 will return result as 7 raised to 21. So here simple example 2 raised to 3 answer is 8. 2 into 2 into 2, answer is 8. Okay, so power function is using in Python for getting the exponentiation or to, 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 the, to the raise of a uh, raise to a power. 
to get a raised to a power. Okay, then square root. How to get the square root? Function is SQRT. Function is SQRT. Okay, it will return the square root of the number specified within the bracket. Okay, so power also you can use math dot power 4 comma 0.5 will return square root. Why? Why? Because 4 raised to 1 by 2 is square root of 4. Okay, so you can use uh, 1 by 2. So for cube root, you can use power dot 1 by, uh, 1 by 3, etc. Or for the square root, the direct function is available is QRT. So SQRT will return the number, which will be the square root of the number specified within the bracket. So math dot SQRT 16 will return square root of 16, which is okay. So these are uh, uh, these are the functions in. Uh, math module for basic operations like uh, <coughs> logarithm, anti logarithm, sorry, logarithm and exponentiation, power, etc. Then, fourth one trigonometric functions. How to work with the trigonometric ratios in Python? Okay, so remember here. You need to pass the angles in radian. You need to pass the angles in radian. Degree learning and radian like convert here. You can use uh, to convert uh, degree to radian, you can use uh, pi by 180, right? Yeah. Radian to degree, pi by 180. Uh, there is functions for doing the other GRM functions. So trigonometric functions returns that corresponding functions values of the angle in radian. Angle in radian. So math dot sin a very simple math dot sin x sin of x math dot cos x cosine of x math dot tan x tangent of x. Okay. Simply math dot sin math dot pi by 2. So if you pass pi, there is no symbol like pi in Python. If you want to use Python uh, with the variable uh, pi, pi r square value table, you can use 3.14. That result will not be, uh, will be a rounded value because 3.14 in the brain rounded on up to some 15 20 places. If you want exact result, you can use math dot pi. Okay, so math dot pi is mathematical constant in math module, mathematical constant in math module. If you simply type pi, it will tell you uh, unknown symbol or uh, not defined. Pi variable is not defined. So math dot pi will return the pi value. Okay, then pi by 2, sine pi by 2 will be returned or printed here. Then math of cos 0, cosine of 0 angle, tan math of pi by 4, math tangent of pi by 4. So we'll return sine 90 cos 0 and uh, tan 45 <coughs> okay so math see math dot again math dot whenever you are using something from the math module you should proceed the letter to the word math understood so math dot from the module math get the function tan with the module constant in the module math okay okay so the result will be 1 sine 90 cos 0 tan. Okay, it will not be 1. It will be, uh, see how many places? 15 to uh, 15, 16 places in a round either the result. Okay, so this tan uh, uh, in the it is the result of execution of a code. Math module is a program coding the result. Otherwise, it would, have, it would have been 1 in the result. Okay. Then inverse trigonometric function, inverse, sine inverse, sine inverse return. Function is result will be angles in radian. Okay, a tan inverse of one, it will not be forty-five. It will be pi by four. It will be pi. So result will be in radian 
radians you can convert to degree simple operations or two radians to read to read to read functions okay so mathematical uh, 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 module module function in the parayan a sine a sine so sine will return sine of that angle and a sine of bracket will return sine inverse of that value and the angle in radian okay so math dot a sine of x okay inverse sine of x inverse sine of x math dot a cos of x cos inverse of x <laughs> math dot a tan of x tan inverse of x okay for example print print a sine 1 print a sine 1 a sine 1 so 1 in the para another sign another a no angle in the radian so it is 1.570 okay 5 by 2 then cos inverse of 1 0 then tan inverse of 1 it's not 45 it is 5 by 4 that to exactly 3.14 divided by 2 this result find a 7 8 okay so this is what the usage of sine functions and the inverse sine functions in python using you say either what you learn math you say math what are simple on a question in the confused now examine confused now practice here program is the practice here. then <coughs> hyper how to use hyperbolic functions in python hyperbolic function what is hyperbolic function hyperbolic function hyperbolic functions here the line sin h sin h x what is it learn e raised to i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta e raised to i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta ah ngane anengil hyperbolic function padichittulla irikkallo okay anyway sin hx endu parayunnathu e raised to x i am not sure plus or minus but then just work on then cos hx and the bar end e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by 2 in the plus anyway you can refer to so e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by 2 on uh, the minus um but plus one carney raised to minus i theta minus i sin theta verum. so subtract the last sign theta anyway it is a raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by 2 for uh, sin hx and the cos hx is e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by 2 for cos hx. Okay, so e function is like the angle, we need to evaluate e raised to x and e raised to minus x, then subtract, then division, then lam chenam. That you can do by using sin h function. Okay, so math dot sin h 0 will return e raised to 0 plus e raised to 0 divided by 2. And so cos h x e raised to x plus e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x is tan h x that the values will be returned. Okay, sin h x minus um is the plus one. Other one is zero. I forgot one. Why it is zero? Because e raised to zero minus e raised to zero becomes zero. Zero divided by two is zero. Cos h x and the value are the value. One plus one something raised to zero is one. So e raised to zero plus e raised to zero divided by two. 1 plus 1 divided by 2, 2 by 2 equal to 1. That is why. So you can confirm cos hx is equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by 2. And the sin hx is e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by 2. Okay. Anyway, that is maths part. For the Python, you can call that, you can get that result by using e. Sorry, sin h. So sin hx. Okay, how to get a sine hyperbolic function so math dot sine hx then inverse hyperbolic sine uh, uh, sin h in the sine h inverse sine h inverse integration of the integral sine hx in the formula you know 
നിങ്ങൾ മറന്നുപോയതാണോ പഠിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടോ അത് പഠിക്കാതെ ഒന്നും നിങ്ങൾ പ്ലസ് ടു കടന്നു പോയിട്ടില്ല പഠിച്ചാണ് കേട്ടാ പഠിച്ചാൽ നോക്കിയാൽ മതി എനിവേ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ഹൈപ്പർബോളി ഫംഗ്ഷൻ മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് എ സൈൻ എച്ച് എക്സ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ നെയിം യു മസ്റ്റ് റിമെമ്പർ മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് എ സൈൻ എച്ച് എക്സ് വിൽ റിട്ടേൺ സൈൻ എച്ച് ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് വിൽ റിട്ടേൺ സൈൻ എച്ച് ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് എ കോസ് എച്ച് കോസ് എച്ച് ഇൻവേഴ്സ് എ ടാൻ എച്ച് ടാൻ എച്ച് ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ and uh, while executing this code you will get this result okay so these are the uh, uh, functions in the 7th oro head ilum alla functions padichodu 1 to 7 vare nammal parni poi okay now etamathe group math il varuna etamathe group aanu factorial and combinations factorial and combinations endana factorial and combinations adum padichittilla permutations and combinations padichille permutations and combinations npr and ncr what is npr n factorial divided by n minus r factorial and ncr is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial so you can evaluate phi c to phi p to etc okay anyway that is maths part you can use functions factorial math dot factorial for getting the factorial of a number math dot factorial to get the factorial of a number so it calculate factorial of what is inside it returns the factorial factorial of the number passed within the uh, bracket example um, i forgot to add the cell here print math dot factorial of 5 okay it will print the result 1 2 ah it is there later then another uh, for getting the combination you want to evaluate ncr if you want to evaluate ncr you can use math dot com combination math dot com nk so it will evaluate nck n factorial divided by n minus k factorial into k factorial so function name math dot combination math dot combination n comma k okay now uh, number of combinations uh, the, uh, the meaning are math dot for getting the permutation how to get the permutation in python math dot p e r per n comma k it will return n p r n factorial divided by n minus r factorial okay now see print 5 factorial is comma math dot factorial 5 so it is printing 5 factorial is 1 2 then print 5 c2 is math dot comb 5 comma 2 and only the result will be printed 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 factorial equal to 10 okay then 5 uh, p2 is math dot perm 5.2 it will uh, print the result of permutation okay so this is what how to use combinations and factorials in python hmm? now ninth set il varunadana so nammal eight set padichu eight set functions padichu adu oru oru sum undu adu nammal padichu now how to get the lcm and hcf lcm and hcf using math module okay so common greatest common divisor highest common factor and the least common multiplier of a number of two numbers so math dot gcd greatest common divisor nammal use cheyna word hcf anna irikkum ningal maths la use cheyya hcf anna irikkum whatever it is greatest common divisor function is gcd not hcf not hcf so math dot gcd a comma b it will return the hcf of a and b it will return the hcf of a and b so get common division uh, uh, terms of a and b then lcm math dot lcm bracket a comma b return the lcm of a and b return the lcm of a and b so it is printing greatest common factor of 8 and 12 is math dot gcd 
then we are printing the LCM of 8 and 12 is math dot LCM 8 comma 12. So in application whenever you want to get the LCM and HCF of two numbers, you can just call the function math dot GCD and math dot LCM. So HCF of 8 and 12 is 4, LCM of 8 and 12 is 24. Okay, so this way you can use this uh, GCD and LCM functions in, from the math module for getting the HCF and uh, LCM of two numbers. <coughs> Next, uh, rounding functions. We have already rounding functions, rounding off and answer to some places. Okay, so math module the function the pair and to seal. To seal ceiling to the top round to the next or nearest integer okay seal means returns to the nearest integer return up to the nearest integer up 4.8 and angular 4 lake okay seal 4.8 will give 5 okay to the next so you have floor also floor to down okay to rounds down to the nearest integer. So, uh, floor 4.8 will return result to 4, but seal 4.8 will return 5. Floor 4.8 will return 4, seal 4.8 will return 5. Okay. Then, truncation, trunk, truncates to the nearest integer towards 0. Okay. That's mean, as a matter of difference, means like, um, Truncation means it always round towards zero, towards zero. So positive number the truncation in the parayan of the flow, right? Okay, but negative number of truncation in the parayan of the seal, We'll see. Math dot seal 4.2 will return 5. Flow dot 4.2 will return 4. <coughs> Math dot floor minus 4.2 will return, see? Minus 5. Next. Sorry. To the down. Minus 5 on each other. Minus 4 on the color. So minus 5. Then truncation for 0.2 will return towards 0. So where the number 0 on number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4.2 is this one. Okay. So truncation for 0.2 will return the number towards 0. That is 4 lakey. But truncation minus 4.2, this is minus 4, here is minus, uh, minus 4.2. Towards 0 is here. So it's 0 like where the digit integer minus 4. So truncation minus 4.2 will return minus 4. And truncation 4.2 will return. Okay. So you see that floor minus 4.2 return minus 5. But truncation minus 4.2 will return minus 4. Okay, towards zero. Number axis in the zero lake. Zero lake move above. I think another integer. That I give truncation. So and so the results. Floating point functions. Floating point. Okay. Splits into fractional. Uh, it's a fractional and a integer parts. Okay. It returns the number into fractional and integer parts. Means. Uh, uh, that the results will uh, returns in uh, rational number okay. plus match like the x plus 0.35 bar in uh, uh, p by q form okay that you can do by using this modify a mod a mod, a mod f okay so see the result math dot mod f 4.5 okay it will return 0.5 and a uh, Okay, Anyway, math dot copy sign 5 comma minus 3. Returns x with sign of y. Return x with the sign of y. That is second number in the sign, first number like it. Second number in the sign. First number like you get wrong. So math dot copy sign 5 comma minus 3. Minus 3 the sign in the bar the negative one. Apo math comma uh, math dot copy sign 5 comma minus 3 result in the bar in the minus 5. 
ഓക്കെ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ജസ്റ്റ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് നമ്മൾ മെഷീനിൽ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഒക്കെ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ളതൊക്കെ കുറെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യേണ്ടി വരും അതുകൊണ്ട് കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നതാണ് അവർ എനിവേ ദാറ്റ് ആ മൊഡ്യൂളിലുള്ള യൂട്ടിലിറ്റീസ് മാത്രമാണ് ഇതെല്ലാം മിസലേനിയസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് എഫ് സം സം വാല്യൂസ് ഇൻ അൻട്രബിൾ വിത്ത് എ ബെറ്റർ പ്രസിഷൻ ഒരു ലിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് നമ്പർ ഉണ്ട് ആ നമ്പറിൻ്റെ സം എടുക്കണം ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ എഫ് സം പോയിന്റ് വൺ പോയിന്റ് ടു പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ it will return 0.1 plus 0.2 plus 0.3 we don't we no, no need to write in between plus aa array lulla aa list lulla ella elements inde sum kandittu and answer namakku kittum okay f sum sum the values is finite check if number is finite not infinite or finite is infinite i n f check if it is infinity so it will return boolean results either true or false finite anengile true infinite anengile false ivda infinite anengile true infi- uh, infinite allengil false okay so is finite is infinite i n f math dot is n a n n a n means not a number n o a n a n in python or in any language means it's the meaning it's not a number or in general unknown format and unknown format okay so in some uh, excel sheet and all in some excel sheet and all you will be having some different number of columns and here for first column the number of uh, uh, values for this first column and number of values for second column so while going through the columns or uh, rows you may see sometimes missing here sometimes missing here. for example 1 2 Five seven. Nothing is written over here. So while reading that Excel sheet, that is empty actually. That empty number in Python will be represented by N A N. It can be a number missing or a string missing. Uh, something is missing. Nothing is mentioned over there. That is generally represented by N A N. So we need to check from the code whether any missing entry is there in our data. എക്സെൽ ഷീറ്റ് വലിയ സൈസ് ഉള്ള വൺ കിലോ ബൈറ്റ്സ് ഉള്ള എക്സൽ ഷീറ്റ് ഒക്കെ നമുക്ക് മാനുവലി ഓപ്പറേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ് ഹാവിങ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് പേജസ് ഓഫ് ചെക്കിംഗ് ഓൾ ദ സെൽസ് വെതർ സംതിങ് ഇസ് മിസ്സിങ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് പോസിബിൾ പോസിബിൾ ഓക്കെ വി ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ദിസ് എൻ എൻ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ടു ചെക്ക് വെതർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സോ ഈസ് എൻ എൻ ഓഫ് എക്സ് അത് എൻ എൻ ആണോ അല്ലയോ മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് ഡിഗ്രി ഇസ് കൺവേർട്ട് റീഡിയസ് എയ്റ്റ് ഡിഗ്രി പറഞ്ഞില്ലേ ഡിഗ്രിയിലേക്ക് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് ഡിഗ്രീസ് ഓക്കെ സോ റേഡിയൻസ് ടു ഡിഗ്രി മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് റേഡിയൻസ് ഡിഗ്രി ടു റേഡിയൻ ഓക്കെ സോ എഫ് സം റിട്ടേൺ പോയിന്റ് വൺ പ്ലസ് പോയിന്റ് ടു പ്ലസ് പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ ഈക്വൽ ടു പോയിന്റ് സിക്സ് അക്കുറേറ്റ് വാല്യൂ ആയിരിക്കും അപ് ടു ടെൻ ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ പ്ലേസസ് അത് സം ചെയ്ത റിസൾട്ട് തരും ഈസ് ഇൻ ഫൈനൈറ്റ് ടെൻ ഈസ് സോറി ഈസ് ഫൈനൈറ്റ് ടെൻ ഇത് ഫൈനൈറ്റ് നമ്പർ ആണ് സോ ആൻസർ ഈസ് ട്രൂ ഓക്കെ ഈസ് ഇൻഫൈനൈറ്റ് ഫ്ലോട്ട് ഐ എൻ എഫ് ഐ എൻ എഫ് ആണ് ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി എം പൈത്തലിൽ റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഈ സിമ്പിൾ അല്ല ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഐ എൻ എഫ് പൈത്തലിൽ ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഐ എൻ എഫ് എന്നാണ് ഓക്കെ ഇങ്ങനത്തെ സിമ്പിൾ ഇല്ല സിമ്പിൾ ഇല്ല നമുക്ക് ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല സോ ഇൻ ഐ എൻ എഫ് എൻ എൻ നാൻ നോട്ട് എ നമ്പർ റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് പൈ പൈ ആണോ പൈ എ ഡിഗ്രിയിലേക്ക് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്യുക മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് റേഡിയൻ വൺ എയ്റ്റി ഡിഗ്രിയെ റേഡിയിലേക്ക് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്യുക ദ കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് റിസൾട്ട്സ് ഓക്കെ and there are some constants in math module okay math dot pi the constant is pi math dot pi the constant is pi math dot e e math dot tau tau means 2 pi okay then math dot i and the positive infinity math dot n n represents n n value not a number ഓക്കെ നമുക്ക് ഡാറ്റ എൻ്റർ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ അവിടെ ഡേറ്റ ഒന്നും ഇല്ല ഓക്കെ യു കെ നോട്ട് ലീവ് ഇറ്റ് ആസ് സ്പേസ് യു നീറ്റ് റൈറ്റ് മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് എൻ എൻ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റു സോ മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് പൈ വിൽ റിസൾട്ട് ത്രീ പോയിൻ്റ് വൺ ഫോർ മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് ഇ ടു പോയിൻ്റ് സെവൻ വൺ മാത്ത് ഡോട്ട് ടോ ടു ഇൻ ടു പൈ ഐ എൻ എഫ് ബിക്കം ഐ എൻ എഫ് ഐ എൻ എഫ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ടുഡേസ് ഡിസ്കഷൻ വാസ് ഫ്രം ദ മാത്ത് മൊഡ്യൂൾ Okay, functions and utilities in the math module.